Wardaruski test test and record hello and here we go ladies and gentlemen he has risen again Sir Daniel Fortescue see <laughs> ladies and gentlemen welcome I'm your host NB <laughs> what's going on guys NB here and ladies and gentlemen welcome to the start of a game 21 years in the making. Well, a couple of years at least if we count that PlayStation Experience 2017 trailer we got introducing us to this game. Medieval PS4, ladies and gentlemen. I have seen the trails of this and it looks absolutely gorgeous, graphic-wise and everything. So I can't wait to try this out. It's been a little while since I played this game for the PS1, of course. But I managed to get through it through uh, with completion and everything. And I can't wait to try this out and test my knowledge and see how much I remember from the PS1 version. So, without further ado, this is the miniaturized Let's Play, of course, because this is the short lived demo, as they like to call it. So, alright, now I'm gonna stop talking. Let's start the game. Here we go. Medieval, baby. God, this looks so gorgeous. I heard that the uh, original composers also from the original medieval game are supposed to be in this one as well, which is pretty cool. I think it's Paul Arnold and Andrew Barnable or something. I forgot I forgot the last name of the other guy, but Paul Arnold, Andrew Barnable or something like that. So I apologize if I'm spelling the last name wrong. Of course, other Ocean Emeryville, the other... That's the new developer time, for this game. Long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zero. They got the original music. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. Damn, so Zero, you looking? He raised an army of Oof. demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. And how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir. And a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then, the sorcerer returned. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So this was definitely a retelling from the PS1 version, as you saw from the book and everything. Well. Except the voice and all. Oh sh! There's the little sparkles from the PS1. Nice. Yo, this looks absolutely cool, man. This looks very clean. This looks so freaking clean, man. Making our way down to our good old, to our good old buddy Zark. There's our main, uh, main butthead over here. What's up, Zark? You looking uh, pretty uglier than ever. All right. Fornicating the plans, I see. Going off to do his evil doing. There he goes, the boy. The evil boy. Going to spread eternal night towards land. And. Oh 
Oh. Eternal night forever. That's at least until I come in. <laughs> oh, ho, Zara. Get ready to get your butt kicked for the second time. <laughs> or no, third time. I forgot we took him down in Resurrection too. So. Alright, there he goes. About to claim the souls of the innocent. You're the mean one, Mr. Zerok. There he goes, possessing everybody. Them and all those poor souls. Look at this. Look at this. They even claimed a little girl's soul. Oh, oh, Sarah. You are a mean one indeed. Uh-oh. You're about to go in my crib? My crypt? You know, you 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 invade my territory now. Best get out of here. Whoa. And that's it. That's the intro. That good old PS1 intro right there. Well placed shield has saved many an ill placed hero. That is true. It's got the original uh original main menu of the game. Yo, this is looking very glossy. Holy crap. Damn. Yeah, look at me. Look at me in all my glory. Look at that. I'm looking sexy, boy. You know, them bones. Them bones, though. The boy's been rebuilding for the past 21 years. Now it's my turn to take the throne again. Looking sexier than ever. Alright, I'm gonna stop. Here we are, folks. Medieval. Alright. 2019. Let's begin, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Yo, oh, that laugh! That laugh when you start a new game! Yes! Here we go, boys. Yo, I cannot get enough of how clean this looks. Was it Other Ocean? I made this game. They really made this like nice and glossy and everything. Here we go. Time to wake up. Or no, we're just dreaming. Onward, men! A charge! Fire. Let's defeat the evil that is Zerok's army! And boom! First one to die in battle. Truly a shame. Would love to have done more. Right, there's my boy. That's my boy Dan. We going back, boys. We coming back. Dan's crypt. Rise and shine, Dan. Looks like you got a second chance to this whole hero thing. Try not to blow it this time, eh? Here we go. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my boy. It has risen again. Sir Daniel. The original voice. The original voice. The yes! Of <coughs> who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Serok and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. I love it! I freaking love it, man! Holy sh! Yo, it's just like the PS1 for. Oh! Look at this! 
All right. You're my boy. So we got oh chests. We got oh it's those big chests. Nice. 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 Look, look at my crib. Look at that awesome art of me. Look at that. Like slaying a dragon and stuff. I'm on horseback slaying a dragon. You cannot get any better, more badass than that. That's my boy right there. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, oh! I heard about this one. The helmets. Let me see. We got books here. What's what this say? You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Let's see what we got over here. Another book. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Mm. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. That's true. Just like that sh uh, sword. Which I think we're about to get, actually. Oh, what's one of those chests? Ah. So yeah, see, it's those chests that either contain like a weapon or a shield, or sometimes he'll, oh, the rune, by the way. Weapons, shields, or like a for like enemies, which I couldn't really t remember from the first game where the I think hurts you a little bit if you get a little close. But I know it deals a hell of a lot of damage to all enemies and stuff, so. And there's the shield. What do we got here? During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. And speaking of sword... Hell yeah, boy, we got the sword! Alright, so let's see, we got... We got okay, that's short. And this, I assume... Oh! There we go, this is the long... Wow! Nice! What we got for quick? Oh, 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 yeah, I'm God. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. I am Zoro. Nice. That's so cool, man. All right. So let's see. Trying all. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. Triangle. Triangle switches weapons. Squares the quick, circles the long charge and everything. So can I do anything else? Oh. Oh, uh, R1 is the, uh, shield. Pull up the shield. R oh. What's this? R2 is, uh... This sort of view, which is pretty interesting, actually. Cool. I drew... Oh! You have to go with different, uh... If you hold down R2 in like different directions, you can stay in that direction and attack whatever's in that direction. That's pretty damn cool. That's pretty damn cool, honestly. That's, oh. Yo, third person? Third person medieval? Yo, this is L2 right here. Third person medieval. <laughs> That's so freaking cool, man. Let's see what else we got. Okay, directional buns. Oh, directional buns are like the, uh, okay, directional buns are a little bit slower, like slower speed than the analog stick, but at least it's like, uh, it's like the controls for the PS1 version, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there was a bag of money right there. Any treasure that you find will be added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items. From the greedy merchant gargoyles. They are pretty greedy. Can't wait to encounter those, uh, fellas. Is there like a little menu that we can like change inventory of our weapons or something? Oh! 
I just took a snapshot. I just took a snapshot. But yeah. Oh! It was the touchpad. Okay. So this is our uh, weapon inventory and other stuff. Cool. Oh, you got a little categories too. Ranged armor. You got dance helmet. Very cool. And items. Alright, I haven't seen uh, Dan's item yet. So, let me see. What is... Oh! Okay, he ripped his arm off already. Now we're playing a medieval game. <laughs> That's so freaking cool, man. Like, whack people with it. That long range throw. Very cool. And then we go into third person medieval. <laughs> this is so freaking cool, man. I love it. Okay, let's read this book. You will find life bottles throughout Galamere. They contain oh. the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. Mm -hmm. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. Now, it looks like this is the ones where, like, it's like an extra life. Right? Then those, like, smaller version vials which fill up a portion of your health. This one's more like an extra life one, so. Yep, that's an extra life bottle. Cool. When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Nice. <laughs> I just love the animation where Dan just rips his arm off. It's much more uh, dynamic, like, uh, in comparison to the PS1 version. He just takes his arm off with, like, no special effects or anything, but this one, he yank it off and you see pifts of, like, the bone coming off and stuff. That's so cool, man. I know I'm saying cool a lot in this Let's Play, but seriously, I cannot get enough how gorgeous this game looks. Look at this. Track down Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galomir. <laughs> You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I just love how my head looks behind and forward as I'm reading a book and stuff. Alright, consider a gentler touch on the one. And of course you continue without me reading it! Good job, game. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Dan's Crypt. Look at this menu! Holy sh**, look at this! Nice uh, step up from the PS1 version, which PS1 version was cool as well, but like with the upscale graphics and everything, this makes it a lot more cooler. Okay. Okay. The graveyard. Our first actual level. Take your first test a hero and slay some helpless zombies. They may seem cranky, but they just woke up from a nice long nap. Yeah, it's true. They have been in slumber. I don't know, kind of for the past 20, 50, 100 years. I'm sorry if I woke you guys up. I just gotta defeat Xerox Bleed, that's all. Alright. Look at this. Look at this place, dude. Oh. I'll get you eventually when I get a mallet. Oh. Oh, nice. Look at Galamir entry. Friendlies, enemies, and bosses. Nice uh, category in this whole thing. Yeah, narration. These guys were fashionably undead oh, before so. it was fashionable to be undead. Your brain may have long since rotted, but that won't stop them from eating it. Just a few <laughs> chops should do them in. Be careful not to miss. Oh, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> Pretty cool narration right there. All right. Well, that's it for this one. Yeah, let's get back to the game. All right. All right, got more coins. Why don't you get anything from these tombstones? Oh. What is this? Oh, more baddies. What is this? Whoa! Nice. And get into my chalice cup. All right, we got that this book. That small light following you around is a wisp. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. Oh. He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks, 
but he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see what we got. Oh. Damn, lost a little bit of health around that. There we go. Let's try third person this time. Third person medieval, here we go. Yes! We're doing it! Third person medieval! Damn. Ah, the healing. The healing. Thank you. God damn, I need a room for this one. Do we get one for this one? No. Oh. Oh no, we didn't. Damn. I could have sworn in the first game. I saw one over here. Oh. There it is. So yeah, we go over here and. Whoop. Damn. I wanted to do third person, you know. Alright, cool. More coins. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and a room. Boom, baby. Oh, more, more coins. Hello. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything <laughs> interesting. Oh, you're a funny book. You're funny. Let's see now. Over here. Do we read this book yet? I don't think don't we did. let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Ah, uh, yes. That good old fountain. Alright. Here. And holy crap! That's a lot of zombies! That's a lot of zombies! Yeah, you're dead! Oof. Zoro. Sit down, Zoro, over here. All right. Damn, that was a lot of enemies. Holy. Let's see what we got here. Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Ah. Uh, all right. Cool. I technically don't know how long the demo actually is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be like another level after this, but I figure I might split this into two parts. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this Let's Play so far, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and all that sort. And don't forget to follow me on my social media links in the description below, as well as my Patreon. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I now have a Patreon for you guys. So, if you guys want to support me a little bit more, I appreciate you guys watching the videos and everything. And if you're looking to support me a little bit, uh, Patreon link is going to be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. This is Nostalgic Brony signing out. Take care, and I'll see you guys for part two of this medieval demo right here. Take care. Hope you guys are having a good day. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody. Hey everybody, NB here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'd like to take the time now to say thank you to all my Patreon supporters. In this case, we only have one right now, but thank you so much to Fun For Hire. This is a couple of people that do animation, anime reviews, and they cover all sorts of topics from different cartoons and anime from the past to present. And if you guys are into that sort of thing, check them out. Link is gonna be in the description below. As well, you see the name right now on this card here, so. Check them out whenever you can, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on my social media links, as well as the Patreon, which this person donated to, in the link in the description below. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.